trouble. Kyle Busch into the wall. Oh, no. Yeah, right. Brian Vickers also involved. Just fine and dandy. That thing's destroyed the front. It's a third place driver in the championship starting the day who We're started done. at the back in a backup car at a track that has been his worst statistically in his career. And it is indeed another bad day in Kansas for Kyle. Just flirting with danger on each one of these, and talked about how they just continue to ramp up. So if there's some contact here. Oh yeah, Carl Edwards. Ron Vickers was down on the inside. Thought he was in a pretty good spot through that. But. It's not a situation that you can say because of the 99 getting in the 18 that that was Carl Edwards fault. He was holding his line there. That's just three wide racing and the chance that you take. That's a hard hit. Hard angle. Uh, it's again a testament to the safety of these vehicles and all the things that NASCAR has implemented over the years. See Kyle trying three to get what top. he can here. Middle to covered. Three wide top. Three wide. Yellow is out. Yeah, right. It's really amazing how well the restraint systems work in these race cars. Alan walked out under his own power. Kyle, describe your day, starting with the last incident. What happened out there? I have no idea what happened on the last one. All I know is we're in Kansas, right? This has been a trend, unfortunately, for you. This place has still got you. Obviously. And uh, apparently everybody else does, too. Just run over the 18 car and get what you need. What about your championship hopes now? We've talked about mulligans in the past. Whether you get one, can you still come back, you think? Uh, we'll just have to work hard. We'll just have to keep doing what we've done and getting us to this point all year long. And that's been consistency. And every other track except Kansas seems to be able to bode well for us. So we'll see what happens. And um, if it doesn't happen, then it doesn't happen. It wasn't meant to be.